Right. It was the first day of harvest today, and man, am I whooped. But when I got home, and this uh, Sturt ruler right here showed up in the mail finally. I've been waiting for that for a few days. And uh, what's nice about this is uh, this is a, a shrink ruler. Hmm, looks like my two different rulers here are kind of mirrored from each other. But uh, if we come over here and get out of the light, you can see that the shrink rule is longer than the other one. In fact, it's uh, 3 sixteenths to the foot longer. Um, so anyway, what this is used for is uh, when you make a pattern, say like that, um, you know, the pattern needs to be oversized because the metal, when it's... You know, if you've got a piece of iron that's cast somewhere around 3,000 degrees, well, when it cools down to room temperature, it shrinks a lot. Uh, I believe... I believe iron and aluminum are the same at about an eighth of an inch per foot. So, actually, I'm still kind of on the hunt for a one-eighth shrink rule. Um, but, you know, I mean, this is probably... This is close enough that it'll get me, you know somewhat compensated for i mean in six inches would it only be i don't know 330 seconds oversized from what i'm aiming at um sometimes too you can do what's called a, a double shrink like you'll make a pattern like this and you'll add the shrink from wood to aluminum and then that'll be your production pattern and then this this one here would go like into the library of of patterns so that whenever you want to you know whenever they wear out the uh the production pattern well you can you can use this master to cast a new production pattern and you know uh, i think pine is good for i don't know less than 200 castings or something you know they really they beat them up it just depends entirely on the the guys doing the work but uh you know if they're careful they could last for a long time but if not, you know, they have to go back into the shop and get repaired and patched up. Uh, I'm still having a little trouble and need to get a need to get another computer or something probably so that I can uh, show you all the footage I filmed of this. But I can show you the pattern here. So this is the angle plate. You can see the fillets in the corner there. And it's, uh, oh, I don't know, five by six and a half or something like that. But the interesting part of this is is actually not even the pattern. This is this piece here. And this is called a follower board. So <clears throat> when this gets molded up, it'll end up sitting in the sand like this and be cast in this position. So when they mold it up, there would be they would have to excavate, you know, two or three handfuls of sand here before they even got down to the pattern just to be able to remove it. Because all you'll see is just the knife edge corners of these uh these corners right up here, you know, that'll be the only thing showing when you molded it up. So, what I did, I made this thing here, and let's see, where's my match? Yeah, okay, that's the right way. So this will fit in here. All these surfaces right here, this, that, over here, all the way around, this whole thing. Yeah, I think it's better to turn it. That all has draft on it, right? So this can be molded up as one unit like this, flat on a board. When they flip it over, they'll be able to just tap on this piece here, you know, tap on the, the follower board and remove it. And most of the work is done. They might have a little bit of sand that gets sneaks in under there. There's a little tiny gaps, you know, here and there. But they'll just be doing a little bit of cleanup. Then they can remove the pattern or excuse me, they wouldn't remove the pattern. They would mold the sand on, you know, from the other, um, on the cope side. And then when they go in and open it up, then they could remove the pattern later. Um, anyway, so I'm hoping I can show you guys this, uh, you know, all this stuff here. Like I said, I'm having trouble with my computers. There's that. And I see they put those little pieces there. Those help center up on that that reinforcement rib. And I put a couple of holes in there. This is a side they'll see when they're you know, getting ready to withdraw it. But I give them something so they can pick it up easy. Um, anything I can do to make their job easier just makes it 
uh, more affordable and they're probably a lot happier doing business with me. Anyway, that's it for now.